crafting, vendors, food, and entertainment, the perfect trifecta for a festival. But at the Pinellas African American Heritage Fest at the Florida Botanical Gardens, you also get a celebration of African American culture and history. Here today to tell us about all the fun in store is event chair Shanae Ferguson. So welcome to the show. So great to have you here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate so it. This is a great way to celebrate Black History Month. And this festival has been around for a long time. It took a little hiatus. Can, you, can you tell us about bringing it back? Absolutely. So 2012 was actually the last time that it was in the community up until last year, 2022. We thought it would be the perfect year to reintroduce the event back into the community. It was a huge success. So Aww. here we are again for the second year in a row having the heritage celebration at the botanical gardens fantastic and it is free to get in free we admission. should add lots of parking there yes. in the botanical gardens as well good Definitely. to know uh, can you talk about some of the new things that we can expect i mentioned the vendors the food but you have a lot that's new when it comes to entertainment absolutely so what one of the things we're really excited about is the traveling exhibition that's going to be at heritage village it's actually a traveling exhibit from the National African American History Museum up in Washington, D.C. Yeah. It's called A Place for All People. And if you can't make it to D.C., come out to Heritage Village and see some of the exhibits that are actually on display up in D.C. at the African American History Museum. So cool. Um, also, one of our great partners is Creative Pinellas. Um, you asked what's well, one of the things that sets this uh, yeah. event apart. Mm -hmm. um, it's the art that we have. So yeah. Creative Pinellas has Out of Eden, which is uh, created by a Cuban American artist. Yeah. Um, it's all about nature and blackness and then there's also one called imagine blackness which is actually focused on artificial intelligence and oh. it's just so cool to see and the other really cool thing is our new children's area that I'm so excited about um, I work for Pinellas County yeah. School, so I love oh, all the wow. things about the kids. Yeah. Um, so the kids will get to come and make their own little planter. They'll get to paint it. They'll get to take home some seedlings and start their own little garden. So oh, we're very that. excited about that. Wow, that's awesome. So there's also entertainment and food. Yes. Lots of food, some food trucks. Oh what, kind of, what kind of food will we see there? Bring your appetite. <laughs> okay. We are going to have barbecue. We'll have soul food. We'll have vegan for okay. everyone, you know, that wants a vegan <laughs> option. We'll have yes smoothies. We'll have a snow cone vendor out there for the kids as well. There's going to be tons of food and it's going to be amazing. So it's free to get in. Save nice. your money for the food. Yes. That's food. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. Okay, so it's not this weekend, right. but the next. Mm -hmm. Correct. Did you say the hours um, that it's going to be running? It's going to be 10 to 4. Okay. okay. Yes, Saturday the 25th, 10 to 4 at the okay. beautiful Botanical Garden. So come early, walk the garden, see all the things, and stay for lunch. So you okay. brought some art yes. with you today, I so I would love... I we can see yeah. some behind you. Ooh. Well, okay, we got a close-up shot over here. And, yeah. uh, okay. You said this is an artist that focuses on Afro-Indigenous artwork. Correct. Yes. He is actually a professional local artist here in Tampa Bay. His name is Chris Akins, mm -hmm. and the R-O-D stands for Rebel or Die. It's all about Afro-Indigenous artwork, all of his pieces focused around these figures, um, and they are absolutely amazing. He's going to be at the Green Book of Tampa Bay Artist Village. Oh, nice. Um, so if you want to see Chris's work and lots of other Tampa Bay artists come, you'll get to view it, and you'll get to take some home. You'll get to purchase it. It's very, for sale. Very, very oh, cool. for sale. What about yes. this one over here? Is now, it this is right? not a oh. This is actually my absolute favorite part of known. the celebration. Yeah. This is actually a third grader at Perkins Elementary. Wow. This is Sorrel. Hi, Sorrel. <laughs> I hope you're watching. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, the students from Pinellas County Schools, we received over 40 submissions from students, and they will have their work on display in the gallery as well. So this is Sorrel's work, C Spot Stay. It's digital, and it's all done. So he created it with yes. all little spots. Um, there we go. Oh, it's right. absolutely amazing. So um, oh. we're so excited to have all the student work on display as well. Um, I do have one more. Okay, yes. Yeah, so let's talk about this one over here. And this is an eighth grader at John Hopkins Middle School. Wow. This is Anaya. Um, she created this digital piece as well, and all the details of this work is just absolutely amazing. I can't yeah. believe an eighth grader did it. I know, it's very um, impressive. So her work will be on display as well, and we'll get to award some winners, and they'll okay. take home some gift cards, and it's just going to be so awesome. You know, I've been but, hearing yeah. that a lot more, the digital art, which is, which is yes. very, very cool. Yeah. We is. should do a whole segment on I that. Know. Well, thank you for bringing uh, the artwork of these students, of the yep. professional artists uh, that's here. Again, give us all of the specs about uh, the festival happening, not this weekend, but the next. Saturday, February 25th. 
10 to 4 at the Florida Botanical Gardens in Largo. Yeah, and such a beautiful venue to oh, spend be the day. I mean, so. even just walking around yes. there is just so stunning. Exactly. Yes. It's going to be a beautiful day. Yes, right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much for coming. And again, that event is Saturday, February 25th at the Florida Botanical Gardens. For more information, check out the website, paahc.org.